Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real Hot Sickles Aquatic Kennels. In this video, we're going to discuss the science behind the different morphological color changes with the Amphilopus heloensis cichlid. So let's start with this cichlid collection point. Lake Hilo, an isolated crater lake in western Nicaragua. Now due to isolation, this species has evolved to take on different color morphs, but their base is a gray to greenish bar color. Before we continue with this subject, I would like for you to direct your attention to the description area below this video where you will find links to purchase books and other Real Hot Sickness merch. And don't forget to check out some of my Amazon affiliate products. They are paid affiliate links to products that you may find useful for your hobby needs. Also, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel, The Ambassador for Aquatic Life, where I discuss all things aquatic and all things hobby related. Now let's pick up where I left off at. Their base color is a gray to greenish bar morph, and they also peel orange or white. Now some of you may be asking yourself, how is that possible? Allow me to explain without going into a detailed scientific analysis. Let's start with this word, benthic, a scientific term used to describe the physical parameters underwater such as depth. So depending on whether or not the species prefers shallow or benthic depth, it will effectively change colors based on how much sunlight it's exposed to. You see, most M species rely on photosynthesis from the sun to alter their DNA to adapt to their environment. This process is called adaptation. Now, adaptation also occurs when fish are isolated from a new gene pool, which means over time inbreeding occur, thus you have mutation. That's the science behind how and why the Amphilopus heloensis change colors. In addition, that's why we have so many different Centronellum subspecies as well. And with that said, this skip, I'm out.